Hey, what's up guys? I'm Eric Bates. I've gotten a lot of requests from you to do pirouettes. So I'm doing a little tutorial today here in Montreal in the Seven Finger Studio. Check it out. Okay, we're gonna break the pirouette down into five steps. The throw, the spot, the pirouette itself, the spot again, and the catch. Here we go. All right, step one, the throw. You're gonna put a line of pressure right here, right along the bottom of the boxes. You're gonna do that by squeezing together and also rotating your hands a little outward so that you're squeezing that bottom line. Okay, you do that and then you throw them in the air. Try to do it and clap before you catch. So throw, clap, catch. And that's gonna give you time to do your pirouette. Okay, when you do a pirouette, you need to spot the boxes before you spin. That is, you wanna see them before you spin so you know what to expect when they're coming down. Like that, so I see the boxes and then I spin, I know where they are when I catch. A good exercise for spotting is you do your throw and then you're gonna look away. It's called the fake. And come back to catch them like that. You'll notice that even when I do a double pirouette, I start it by spotting and I even spot again in between my two spins. So I know what to catch when I finish my second pirouette. talk about the pirouette itself. So I've thrown my boxes so that they stay together. I then spot my boxes and then it's time for the pirouette. Throw the spot, see it, and catch it. Okay. So the pirouette itself, it looks like this. You've thrown your boxes, you're going to bring your arms in to wrap and that's going to let you accelerate your pirouette. I'm turning to my left and so I have my left foot in back. The reason I do this is because I saw Chris Cremo do it. After that, I don't know what the best technique is, but he's really good. So, there you go. Throw, spot, see it, spot. Okay, let's talk about spot number two. You threw the boxes, you looked at them, you spun, take the time to see them again so you can make a nice clean catch. Looks a little something like this. Well, I'm pointing, that's, that's where the magic's happening. Spot, spot number two, and catch them. You don't want to rush into grabbing them. You want to try to see them again. And so you have info before you spin and afterwards. Spot once, spot twice. Spot once, spot twice. It's a great, great slogan. All right, if you did all your spotting, the catch should be no problem. But remember to bend your legs a little bit. That's gonna help. Make a nice smooth catch when you get there. All right guys, that's the tutorial, I hope it helped. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and share it with other people that are trying to learn boxes. Thanks for watching, have fun boxing.